Hey, rock stars. Wednesday nights are going well. Um, I do have something to ask. Um, if you have some ideas of how we can get our kids excited about inviting their friends, um, I would love to know. Um, typically, your Wednesday night ministry blows up and is larger than Sunday mornings and because it acts as a front door. Um, it's an opportunity to share the gospel and to get into more homes um, than typical Sunday mornings. And it's not the case here. So I am asking you if you guys have some ideas that might help turn that to create some excitement outside of our campus because our kids are excited when they get here. But how we can get them excited about inviting friends or how we can create community buzz um, to see kids and families come on Wednesday nights. Um, we are going to change, like I said last night and alluded to, we are going to create some high impact, lots of energy events for the spring. And, you know, we'll see how it works, but it may become something we do once a month all the way through the school year. Things like Faith Factor, the derivative of the spring, uh, Fear Factor, um, Slime Time, uh, Messy Games, Minute to Win It, Olympics, different things like that to create excitement and make it easy to invite. We, we may even go to G-Force as an off-site event one Wednesday night towards the um, end of the year. Um, but I wanted to hear some of your ideas to see if, if there are some things that you think we can do to help create that excitement outside of our campus. Um, I want to tell you guys thank you for all you do and the way you love these kids. I know that um, there are a few behavioral issues on Wednesday nights that we don't necessarily have on Sunday mornings, um, but a consistent love of all of these kids will turn that. Will turn that. Um, it will create an opportunity for us to reach and speak into them. Um, we hold the same standard for kids that are visiting that we do for our kids that are here all the time. Um, but I think sometimes if you just walk up to a kid and say, man, I am so glad you're here, that will be the beginning for you to see a change in the way they behave. Um, our hope and our goal is that <laughs> kids of, um, that come from all different places will come to know and to love Jesus and then walk worthy. I was reading this and I want you to be reminded of who we are as God's people but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Think about what God has done for us and the excitement we should have to share. I am starting to hear more and more stories of kids asking questions. In fact, um, there were three kids and their parents that I talked to last night that God is dealing with. Um, how exciting is that? How exciting it is to see that God is moving among us. So thank you for what you do. You are an integral part of seeing kids come to Christ. I look at it excuse me, as a spider web, and God spins a strand here and he spins a strand here and he uses me to spin a strand he uses you and he uses a friend and he uses his word and he uses you and eventually he has the child or the person right where he wants them and they they confess their sin and they believe so continue sharing the good news continue loving on these kids um, next week is going to be fun it's going to be camo night um, we'll see how crazy it gets uh, but I'm really looking forward to hearing if you guys have some other ideas. Um, God, thank you for every one of these rock stars. Thank you for the way they love and the way they serve. God, my prayer for them this week is that you will bless them. That God, between now and next Wednesday, they will have the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody. That on Wednesday night, God, the kids would come with their hearts prepared to hear your truth. And God, they would ask questions that would open up their understanding for their need for Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. Hey, rock stars, I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.